All right, so yesterday I was uh, practicing for the tournament that we're having on, on uh, Saturday and one of my units I'm gonna use this is I think I shouldn't really you know, exp you know Expose too much my strategy for it. It will be Ludosia Because I love this guy and for the rules of the tournament no one else can use like copy of units But I got the uphold of Ludosia My teammates aren't gonna use him and for that I changed my gear for him which is something I don't recommend doing <laughs> for any character ever, uh, unless you're me. So now I have two sets of UR gear for him. I have attack and defense and I have HP and defense. The reason for that is because of his passive. So his passive is that once you out CC someone with Fudusia, for three turns, they'll have their defense related stats lowered by 40%. What means is you want Lucio to have the most CC possible. As you can see, mine has 54.318. I have every single costume he has maxed out. Uh, every single one. He doesn't have one haircut, which is unfortunate. If he didn't actually, if he did have an extra haircut, that was so good because I get out CC'd by really good kings. Let me actually show my king. Um, where is my festival king? Let me, just for a second, let me just show how much CC my festival king has. Let me get the HP and defense set real quick. My festival king has 55.1, almost 0.2 KCC. If I hammer up some gear here, mo most definitely uh, he can get 55.2. So if I face someone using a king like mine, I will get out CC even if HP and defense. I just missed that haircut, but it's okay. Uh, the thing is that with attack and defense, for regular PvP, I could out CC pretty much everyone. Pretty much everyone, like, f with uh, with uh, attack and defense, I had like, what, 52.4, I think? Let me, uh, switch real quick. 2.6. But here's the thing, when I was practicing for the tournament, my friend Mystic was out seeing me every single time. Every single, almost every single unit was out seeing me with Lucia. And I was like, what? So... I went the extra mile. I have to apologize to Arthur. This used to be Arthur's gear, but I un... What's the... What's the word? Uh, unengraved, I guess? And made all the seals. Is it much better? It's just 2000 CC. I can make it better. This gear is not perfect, you know. This set, set here, I'm re-rolling it, but I'm scared I'm actually gonna, you know, I only have 20 invos. Scared I'm gonna make, make it worse. Uh, you know, they're only 14.4. I need to make these all 15%. I will make these all 15%. And I'll come back here and show it. Here's the unit I've been the absolute most wrong about in this game. When he initially released, I thought he was gonna be bad. And now, I'm, I'm a dumb, stupid... Stupid man who uses him every single day. <laughs> Honestly, mostly because his cards don't look that impressive, right? He's just a double damage on AoE, uh, double damage on buffs, right? And then this is just a regular damage card. But the thing is that Goddess Liz is so prevalent that this becomes such a stupid good card. And this does so much damage. I mean, I haven't used him with HP and defense so, so much yet. But if attacking defense, he does so much damage. Combined with his passive too. The one thing is, and I'll, I'll, I'll start playing the game, I'm sorry, I just wanted to talk about him because I'm very passionate about this guy, I don't know why. Uh, I think it is because I was so wrong about him, that when now when I use him, I'm like, why was I, why, why did I think he was going to be bad? When he releases on global, be aware, his passive and everything around him only really works if you invest on him a lot. I mean that. I... If I didn't have full maxed out costumes, if I didn't have UR gear, he would not be a fraction of how good he is. His passive determines how good he is. If you can out CC people, he is God tier. He is one of the best units in the game. If you can't out CC people, he is not that. He just isn't. So you need now, his grace is also good. For the first two turns, you cannot be petrified, stunned, or frozen. And that works if he's the unit, you know, linked up with your character. He gives the grace as well. Now, let me play some PvP. I, I'm using the, you know, the crit team, the usual. I love this team. But using Red Zouders, because I never put this team together. I thought it would be fun to put it all together. Red Zouders is a really good, you know, booster and all. So this should be fun. 
Uh, sorry for the music cut, I felt like playing some metal. Um, okay, so one thing I have to keep in everyone's mind. Alright, one thing I have to keep in everyone's mind is that he is a whale unit. What I mean by that is, he needs an extreme amount of investment. That doesn't make him bad. You just need to run fast on him a lot. Now, if you're free to play, should you still summon for him? Should you still invest on him? If you are like me, if you like units that kill fast, if you like matches going fast, yes. <laughs> I think, even you're free to play, if you have the dedication of farming raids to, to you know, upgrade his, his uh, costumes, if you have the dedication to getting him up, I think it's worth it. He is so fun. Like, um, it's not gonna be optimal. It's not going to be optimal to waste all this time and investment on him, because you could be using it on other units, I know. But I have so much fun playing with him, that I would say, if you are like me, and you like units like that, you might just have as much fun as I do. Maybe not, because, you know, I'm, I'm just park jump like that, no, okay. <laughs> but you, you should have a lot of fun using him if you like playing the game like that, because it's just how, it's just how he plays. You make units weaker, you make your enemy take more damage. And he himself is not a slouch, he also does good damage. Like, it's not just the units around it, but look, look how much damage Red Zaljus is doing right there. On Red Escanor. Look how much damage Red Zauge is doing on Red Askler. Type neutral, he just did 120k on his level 2. I mean, you've seen him do that maybe. But the thing is that it's because I'm lowering his defense. Lowering defense. No, not just defense. Defense related stats. That's a big deal. Because it's not just defense. Defense is an okay stat. But resistance, crit, crit resistance and crit defense, lowering those is huge. Lowering those is so big. You, may, you do so much more damage if you do that. That's why I love this unit. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Kyo. Okay. Goddess Liz. Okay, good. Good at finding Goddess Liz. I want to show the uh, double damage. So let's um, let's rank up. Let's rank him up. Combine cards and do this. And if next turn he puts up a Goddess Liz shield, watch what happens. I know he has HP and defense, so he will not do as much damage as he does when he has attack and defense, but... The thing is, that it doesn't matter. Double damage is double damage. Um, uh, actually, I do much, you know, prefer using him attack and defense, like... Oh, he didn't put up a shield. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I want to do in instead then? Okay. I'm gonna attack you with him, rank up Zeldris, and do this. Do a, a little bit of a, a damage of Zaljus here. Nice Sayonara. Look at all those crits. Look at all those crits on Gulfer. Have you seen Gulfer getting crit by Zaldris? Yeah. Yeah, it's because he has no crit, crit resistance. Now he has Kyo, which means that the Ignites are making me weaker. So I will be, you know, just moving a card just to take off the debuffs. Oh, don't kill Gopher. Thank you. I'll be moving a card just to take off the, def the, the debuffs. Just so I do full damage. Zaljus is just so good because of that. Um, I think I might just kill Liz like that. Yeah, 256k with HP and defense on, you know, a shield. It's just really good. It's really good. I know it wasn't like a one-shot kill. This is not an ultimate. But it just... It's just so easy to break Liz's shield with him. Like, a level 1 shield? Let's see if she puts a level 1 shield here. Oh, that's unfortunate. But it doesn't matter if Gopher is in or not. No, she's stunned. Okay. His, uh, his, his uh, grace is not in anymore. But if she had put on a shield, I could have just, you know, easily taken it off. Um... I'm gonna do this, actually. This will kill Liz. And I'll, I'll be doing damage on the other people as well. Yeah. I can actually tell how much, you know, 
he would have done more damage if he had HP and defense. Uh, I'm sorry, attack and defense. Because I'm used to him having attack and defense. By the way, I don't recommend attacking crit damage. Crit damage uh, is good, but you want to give him CC for his passive, and defense counts quite a bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, goodbye, you. <laughs> um, defense counts quite a bit for the CC. Like, my, my Zaldus here has attacking crit damage, and I have his costumes fully maxed out. Um, his gear is fantastic. But he still doesn't even break 52k because they have attacking crit damage. Like the defense is just, you know, missing there. So if you are going to build him, I do recommend the uh, the attacking defense, not the uh, the attacking crit damage. Like he will do more damage if you have attacking crit damage, of course, because, you know, he he crits a lot. His For, for part of his passive, right? His passive gives him the ability to crit quite a bit. Actually, he doesn't crit as much as you'd want him to, but he does crit quite a bit. And... Yeah, it could be much better. For damage-wise, but you still want the CC. If you want to be crazy like me, give him attack and defense for sure. But I think, you know, if you are free to play, I would recommend the, uh, the HP and defense. Just give him only the HP and defense, because it's more guaranteed that you will all CC uh, people. You know, anyone using... Attacking defense, you will CC. Or attacking crit damage, you will CC. Maybe, you know, some of the most CC characters of HP and defense, like Askinor, you won't, but, you know. Attack defense, you most likely will. Alright. Ooh, a king team. This is a good example. Oh, but he doesn't have that much CC. I would say, if he was, like, really high on CC, I would say he would be, like, a really good example. Good example for maybe, uh, you know, Meow CCing King because he has really high CC, but look at how much damage Zaljus is doing. Look at that. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. You take off Hendrickson, the King team is much weaker because now he can't triple debuff anymore. And ooh, look at that. Look at those rank ups. Let's go. If puts up a list shield, I can just, you know, level 3. Oh, but. That's unfortunate. Um, could I kill King? Well, if I can't, I just lose. There's not much I can do about that. I didn't get the, the takeoff ultimate gauge card. He is lowered. I would have more confidence if he was attacking defense. Uh, I still killed. But it's because his king is very weak. If it was a really good king, I would have not killed. The attack and defense do be kind of missing here. But to be fair, I wouldn't really run this team. Like, if you're not, like I'm doing this for a video because I wanted to use Red Zaldris, but I would not really use Red Zaldris. He's good. Um, just not something that I would just run, you know? Just for winning. Mo more for a video. So you will know that. Double crit? Ah, really good. Really good boy. Yeah, the lowering defense is just so good. And then you have Death Pierce as well. I love this crit team. If you pulled for Green Gopher, I think uh, you're legally required to <laughs> summon for Lutasia. <laughs> legally required. Invasion. I don't. Double crit? Yeah. 234k. What a strong boy. And he picks up my chin, look at that. Yeah, picks up my chin. Ooh, somewhat of a Pierce team. Um, it's an interesting build for sure. Can I one-shot him, is my question. A little laggy. Always is. Could I one-shot him? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Lowering their defense is just so good. I haven't really, you know... Th this is what I said. For regular matches, my attack and defense set works well. 52.6 KCC. Most people don't have that on their characters. 
Most people I face don't have that. It's very rare that I face someone that I don't auto see for this year. Before this upcoming tournament. Like, because, you know, my teammates, I could not CC Mystic. I was like, I might have to, you know, give my Lucio attack, um, HP defense finally. And I don't regret it. I think that, you know, for sure, it is technically better. Crit? Yes. It is technically better. It will guarantee me to CC anyone. No, not anyone, but, you know, most people. Even the good ones. Um... But you know, I, it, for sure, if you are, you know, for the play, I think just building with HP and defense and only HP and defense should be best. If you even want to build them at all. Oh, I lose. No. <laughs> this man of the comeback. I can still win, actually. But this man of the comeback, dude. How's go for his passive building? 21%. Kill Melly, kill Melly, kill Melly, kill Melly. <laughs> this is a moment where if I had attack and defense, I would have killed. But to be fair, if I had attack and defense, I would have died. If I had attack and defense, I would have killed, but I would have died to the other hit. So, man, really this many gopher cards? Take for what you want. Really lost because he had a Lily in the back. That's crazy. Ah, unless he doesn't kill. I mean, he doesn't kill this y'all. Oh. But can go for a kill? Let's do this. Death Pierce, my boy. It's your turn to shine. Yeah, I actually win. He, just, he got no melee cards. If he had a melee card, he would have he would have won. I mean, no, uh, you know, AOE melee cards. On the on the last turn, if he had, he would have won. I just got lucky. That he didn't have one. Let's just let's let Death Pierce do this, okay? Go for his passive is at maximum, right? Thirty five percent. Yeah, no, twenty one. Didn't I check last time it was already 21? Am I tripping? I thought it was, but okay. Is this passive not, not going anymore? I don't know. Let's go, Death Pierce bashing in the game. Alright, I'm done. Um, Lulus is really good. I just wanted to talk about him because I, uh, I use him so much, right? Um, also, for the tournament, I am upgrading. <laughs> Death Pierce's costumes. Um, by then, I won't be able to max upgrade. Unless I buy upgrade packs, which is so expensive. Um, but um, yeah, I'm I'm hoping um, I'll I'll, uh, I'll get some good CC with it because Death Pierce has awfully low CC. Let me actually open him. Like 49k. Oh, reset. 49k. And I have, you know, three max haircuts with Nassara, two max weapons, two max costumes here. And a uh, UR HP and defense, and I only have 49.2k. I mean, it's not the greatest gear. Like, 14.5, eh, that's not bad, you know, it's pretty decent. Alright, that's it. If you're someone from the list on global, you have to invest. Don't forget about that. But, you know, it's fun, he's a fun unit.